Moses, you'll have a great meal. Only 20 little seconds, and he's here to entertain and amaze you. Standing room only, because we got no seats. 15 seconds till the bird. Place it down front while they last. See the incredible bird. Eight seconds. This is it. Here he comes. The excitement is mounting. Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, General Motors is proud to present the one, the only, Bide. Hiya, folks, and welcome to my show. My name is Bide, and I'm here to entertain, educate, and amaze, for I am an audio animatronic figure. I'd like to introduce my assistant. He's a robot. I call him Tiger. Come out, Tiger. Help me entertain the nice people. Tiger! He's a little shoddy, and see, folks, I'm in the showbiz since I was a man. But Tiger here, he's in manufacturing. He's got no aim in life beyond making a better car for you folks to drive. But today, I'm giving him his lucky chance to break into showbiz. It's a little nervous, so give the kid a break, can't folks? Tiger! That a boy, that's better. I'll give him something easy to start out. Roll over. You gotta talk slow. Tiger! Roll over! Thank you, thank you. I trained him myself. All right, all right. Tiger, play dead. Dead, Tiger. Thank you, thank you. I don't deserve it. Okay, Tiger, now get the donut. Fetch it to me. Go on, fetch the donuts. He'll get it in a moment. Hey, Tiger! What's a big idea? I give you a big break and you deliberately humiliate me in front of all these nice people. Want me to send you back to General Motors where I found you? <laughs> Think about it, kid. They do terrible things to robots. They could lock you up in a room full of smelly paint fumes and make you spray paint out of your nose all day. Or force you to pick hot parts out of an oven with your bare fingers. Or they could make you hold hot pots together while they get welded right in your hand. <laughs> you wouldn't like that, would you? Kid, you got a bug in your program. Shut up and do your soon. Are there any requests? Anything at all you'd like to hear? Just... Not yet! I'm not through talking! As I was saying... It was nothing, really. How about some applause for my assistant here? All right, all right, enough for him. How about some more applause for me? Put that thing away. Wise guy, eh? I taught him everything he knows, and this is how he... What the... This is the most ridiculous... You're not fooling anybody. He can't see anything out of those things. What? So, think you're funny, don't you? Seriously, folks, he can't see, but some robots can see. Take this guy, for example. He's got laser eyes. He goes around measuring critical stuff on the car body. And big as he is, he's very delicate. Accurate to the nearest ten thousandth of an inch. Of course, most robots don't need to see. They just remember where things are. This is robot school. This NC Painter robot is learning the shape of a new body. A new car body, that is. And yeah, with instructors like that, school don't look so bad. Look at him go! Perfect! This one graduates with honors. Now, the best part about it is, these guys paint them perfect every time. And look at this guy. He's no dummy. Let the robot be out there in the smelly paint fumes. This guy's got air conditioning. Look at that reach with arms like that. Maybe you could get him into basketball. That's it. I'll sign him to a contract and retire for life. Look at those moves. Pure poetry in motion. Now it's time for the cultured portion of our show. A great belief in culture. So now, it is my privilege to present... Remember, I taught him everything he knows. Tiger, conducting the Detroit Phil Robotic Orchestra. Maestro.
show, The Exodus to your right. Tell everyone out there that you saw the one, the only, Blade! Oh yeah, and the robot.